hello guys welcome to my channel so in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful spiral rose sleeve so if you're interested in knowing how i achieve this don't forget to hit on the like and the subscribe button and do well by turning on your notification bell so you can get notified when next we upload a new tutorial and to our old subscribers thank you for always watching my videos and also we also welcome our new subscribers welcome to the family let's grow this channel together okay so this is vicky james and um, wedding dress and the sleeve is actually given it's beautiful so i we created this so we all can learn this together guys let's get straight into the video so the first thing i'm just going to draft my basic sleeve and the length of this sleeve is actually 24 but i made it 22 because my fabric i now have enough fabric to accommodate to give me that full length and also i'll get a new paper and fold 180 degree flay okay you know how you fold your 180 degree flay you're going to fold it that way then the part of your sleeve the center front i'm just going to place it to the folded edge of this 180 degree flay if you don't understand what i'm saying just watch what i'm doing then i'm going to place my full sleeve my sleeve pattern in such a way that it will start from it will start this way it's going to accommodate the i'm going to place it this way it should not be too higher or i don't know how i explain it, but just place it this way okay now you can go ahead and pin it down just go ahead and pin it down so the next thing i'm just going to i'm just going to determine my elbow length so you see this is my my elbow length so from that elbow length i'm going to be going down by three inches because i want my rose to be a little bit fuller so you can use between one two or three inches just from your elbow length you come down by three inches then you mark three inches at the other side then you are going to connect that line together until you get to the end of this other folded edge okay just watch what i'm doing if you don't understand what i'm saying this tutorial is actually easy and it's not difficult can you see after i was done marking this is what it looks like i'll go ahead and trace out the other side since i'm using a white pattern paper so it can be visible enough for you to see okay so remember our the length of our sleeve is actually 22 there about so just go ahead and trace out okay just go ahead and trace out so this is what it looks like guys i'm just going to go ahead and cut out just like you see me doing go ahead and cut out okay so if you have any question you can actually put down the question in the comment section and guys please kindly give this video a thumbs up like this video so that youtube can make this video go viral please just give it a like and if you are a new subscriber you can subscribe as well okay and you can also go through the channel we have other tutorials on how to cut and sew different styles so guys after i was done cutting this is what it looks like can you see it's actually looking it's coming out already so for this i'll be using a bridal satin to create this okay so this is about one and a half yard so i'm going to fold i want to cut the two at once so i folded into two and i'm going to fold over again fold just the way we folded our pattern paper okay so i'm folding 180 degree flay and i'll go ahead and place my pattern on it just like you see me doing make sure you arrange it very well so i'm just going to be adding half of an inch all the way around this will serve as our seam allowance so for this other side, I don't have enough fabric else I would have added folding allowance or make it longer. I will insert, you know, remember we in, from the elbow, we increased it by three inches. So at the hem of your sleeve, you can go and increase it again by three inches so that by the time you finish everything, your sleeve will not be too long. But since I don't have enough fabric and this is tutorial, so I'm just going to cut out the exact pattern. The, the exact way for the hem of the sleeve so i'm going to add half of an inch at this other part 
just watch what i'm doing and you can go ahead and also secure with your safety pin so that this can be in place okay please go ahead and secure with your safety pin so that it will be easy for you to cut out then at this other side i'm still going to pin I think i need to pin one more side so that we're able to cut this out i'll be able to turn it to the side that we're comf comfortable with so i'm going to cut out half of an inch at this other side and this other part is the hem of my sleeve remember i'm supposed to increase it by three inches but since i don't have enough fabric i'm just going to cut it the exact way can you see so increase it by three inches before cutting if you have enough fabric and if you don't that means your sleeve will, the sleeve length will be short then to this other side i'm just going to cut the exact way because i've already added my sleeve my, i've already added my side seam allowance to my pattern when i was drafting if you've not added then you can add one inch then i'm going to cut out this way too then notch the center of my sleeve guys i hope we all are following so now i can remove my safety pin now okay and work on the main fabric so for this you can decide to add an interfacing so that it will make it give it that structured look it will make it it will give it that structured look okay you want the rose to stand out or but because from what um from what we are following they actually use a shoki i know the ashoki is actually thick so if your fabric is light you can add a gum stay or any interfacing at this point but i don't want to do that i'm just going to fold my fabric on the wrong side on the wrong side okay just go ahead and arrange your fabric this way then you're going to stitch half of an inch the half of an inch that we added at a, as our seam allowance i'll go ahead and stitch it i'm going to stitch half of an inch okay and now after i was done stitching i went ahead to notch this other part so that when we open it up it will be relaxed so go ahead and notch this other point okay then you are going to open up the seam line and give it a good press okay you are going to open it up like so and give it a good press then you are going to also notch this other part so that when we turn it out it will not be too pointy so this is what it looks like when you turn it out so guys we are going to start forming our rows after i was done turning now this is what it looks like so i'm just going to start for forming my rows see just look at what i'm doing you know you're just going to be creative at this point so i want uh, you're just going to be creative just work let your creativity guide you you're just going to be forming your rows just watch what i'm doing okay and make sure you do this very well because this is actually the beauty of the sleeve this rows so take your time you have to take your time you don't have to be in a hurry you have to take your time when forming these rules okay so i actually like i said i have i'm going to be using it for a dress so i'm making this for two for the two sleeve and you can decide to make it for the other sleeve and make it for just one of the sleeve then a straight sleeve for the other one this totally depends on you so take your time and get this rose very well can you see that we it's giving us that effect that spiral or that rose effect so guys please at this point if you are here to subscribe to this channel please do so and like this video so that youtube can make this video go viral and you can actually watch before downloading okay please watch this video before downloading so after i was done doing that i'm just going to i'm going to pin okay so i'll use my safety pin and hold this so that it can be in place before tacking okay i know so many will be, will be asking how are we going to do this i'm going to be tacking this but before then you can go ahead and hold this down with your safety pin then we are going to cut a lining for this as well because we are going to be tacking on our lining 
together with our lining okay so just go ahead and secure with your safety pin so guys i'm also going to be cutting out i've got i had to cut my lining piece so from the elbow i just went down by one inch then i went ahead to cut out my lining piece on a fold so that we can actually place our rose on it i also went ahead to remove those safety pin okay then i merged the center of my row of my lining and the center of my actual fabric together okay so you can still go ahead and pin back again please go ahead and pin back and make sure the center of your rose is at the center of your lining please so that it will not be one-sided the center of the rose should be at the center of your lining okay so i'm just going to carefully arrange this you can go ahead and pin again but at this point i said i was not going to pin i'll be careful when tacking okay so remember the center of your notch should be of the lining should merge with the center of the actual fabric then i'll go ahead and start tacking you're going to place your tape from the back first then go ahead and give it that invisible tacking so i'm going to cut out and also tighten this other part before cutting so that it will not lose so the next thing i'll move to the second one i'm going to be tacking at the center please do not touch this other folded part or this rose effect i don't know how to explain it but just go ahead and tack at the center you're not touching the sides okay that is giving us that effect standing effect no you're just going to tack the center to your to your lining okay just take your time and watch this video practice or so practice so the next thing i'll move to the third one that's how you keep on doing until you finish the end until you get to the end place your needle from the back and tack it very closely so that it will not be showing please tack in such tack it in a way that it will not be visible when others sees it okay so guys i'll go ahead and finish this or uh, behind the camera and show you what it looks like you can also tack the sides as well then i'm going to stitch my lining and my actual fabric together and the sides i'll do that and show you what it looks like guys after i was done doing that this is what it looks like can you see the back it's actually looking beautiful and also i've gone ahead to finish up the tacking on the right side so you can actually cut a full lining for this as well you use your pattern again and cut a full lining if you want a full lining but since i don't have enough lining i'm just going to be folding the hem of my sleeve using half of an inch very tiny okay then i'll place them like this and stitch one inch as my allowance side seam allowance i repeat the same thing to the second side can you see that i've actually tacked it and after opening it up like this it's still in place so that's what you should do okay so this is the second sleeve i'll be making a dress with this and make sure you count your rules so that it will be equal because i have about 13 rows i formed 13 so you should have it so that one side will not be fuller than the other we want this to be equal can you see how pretty and how beautiful this is actually looking so guys here is the final outcome of our row sleeve so guys do not forget to share this video with your soul friends invite others to like subscribe to our channel and like this video please please like this video subscribe to the channel and always turn on your notification bell so you can get notified each, whenever we upload a new tutorial so guys until i see you in my next tutorial bye